What's good? It's the homie Kennard with this morning's vlog. Let's get it. Yo, what's good? It's Tuesday. The boy is a little tired, but we on the grind. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Look, the truth is I need to organize better. I need to organize my time better. I need to organize my projects better. I need to organize my execution better. The truth is, is uh, being a solopreneur in regards to running my music career and business uh, I'm always caught on two sides. Sometimes I really want to be creative, and then there are other times where I have to do the work to manage my business. And, and the truth is, is I'm always trying to get better with management of time, but I never feel like I have enough of it. I always have a whole bunch of tasks that I got to knock out and get to. Uh, and, and a lot of times I feel like I'm rushing because I'm doing a lot of things on my own. When somebody say, well, you need a team. Yeah, you need a team, but you got to pay a team. And if your budget isn't right to pay a team, you kind of got to do a lot of things on your own. It's just what comes with the territory. That being said, I've started to learn that some of these artists who are doing really well have different organization systems in place or project uh, organization systems in place. I was really caught off guard when I found out that there was a one organization that was using an IT methodology uh, for project management called Agile. Uh, and Agile, right, not to get super technical, is one of those things where it helps you plan out your tasks for the week. And then if you run into problems you can say, hey, these individuals or these things are blocking me from getting these tasks done. To see that there's music companies using IT methodology towards project management really was like, oh, okay, well then look, I'm gonna approach it like that. The truth is the boy has to get better. Now, I run ads. Right here, let me just give a breakdown for everything that I do. Okay. The first is the recording process, sitting with the producer, writing the music, uh, writing the lyrics, recording it, whether it be at the studio or here, uh, getting with uh, the features, right? Trying to coordinate schedules, because that's, that's very difficult, because everybody is busy, right? So the recording process is just, it's just one phase, right? Then we talk about the second phase, the creative phase in regards to uh, what is the messaging? Right, and this is a part of marketing, but how are we visually going to capture it? Uh, what pieces of content are we going to add to it? Chances are, I'm probably going to have to edit it. Right, I'm going to upload it. I'm going to put it where it needs to go. Uh, this is just the creative for the actual music. Right now, you add the creative in regards to like a website where you want people to come, where they can where they know that they can get the information from you, right? Or on your socials, who's posting, is it scheduled? You know, all of the marketing plan is, is really me. You know, outside of working with some suggestions from my team, I'm the one that has to execute upon that and create it, right? Then we talk about advertising. I've been telling y'all the last couple months, I'm running my own ads now, right? I got with other individuals who ran ads and they did it and it was dope, it worked. But unfortunately, I had to really kind of look at it and learn it for myself because there are certain things that I need to uh, capitalize on, like retargeting. How do I get to the same people that rocked with me before? How do I collect emails, right? So I'm doing that as well. I'm working on a podcast with Brittany. Once again, this is another item that you have to market and advertise, right? Uh, lastly, you have networking, working with your peers, uh, finding mutually beneficial situations, right? So I got four or five things that I'm working at at a very high level in regards to managing my music business. And the truth is, is I need organization. It's the only way to be successful. Right? It's the only way to understand that you're moving towards something is to have it organized, to have a clear defined plan. I'm going to just be honest right now, I have it in my head, but I need to document it more. So I'm going to try and do that today, tomorrow, the next couple days. I have a plan. It's not the plan that's the issue. It's the organization behind the execution of the plan. One can have a plan all day, but if you don't know how you're going to execute the plan, it's just a plan. 
What we trying to do is we trying to execute better. Because if you execute better, then you can scale it. This is why it's important to learn this now. This is why I love the statement when they say, fail towards progress, right? I'm failing towards getting better. If I fail now, three or four years from now, I should have been able to scale and learn where I didn't perform well versus where I did perform well. It's very, very important if you're trying to get better at running a business. I don't care if you're an artist, if you're an entrepreneur, the objective is to get better. And so you're going to fail. You need to learn. And before you scale that business and you make this business on a on a, a larger scale, you have to understand how to do it at a small scale. So your mess ups are very small. So this is what I'm going to work on today, tomorrow. It's just getting better, better organization, probably trying to use the recommended agile methodology in regards to uh, project management so I can become better. All right. I know that was a lot, but look, I want to help you. I want you to be better than what you was yesterday. And if you're trying to manage this, this is some of the information I'm learning as I'm doing it, and I hope you can learn from it too. That being said, I'll check you on Wednesday. The boy is out.